Jonathan Fontana here again. I hope that you're having a great week. I hope that you're staying positive. I hope that you're watching what you put in your ears and what you see with your eyes, what you're listening to, and that you're controlling who you allow in your life. I'm just going to make this quick video to recap a little bit on what we learned last week. One, remember, cold fries happen. Little things happen all the time. Flat tires, you late for work, traffic, red lights, sour milk. I call it cold fries. Cold fries happen. You're looking for a better life for yourself. You're going to higher places. You're moving up in the world. And in order to do that, you're not letting the cold fries bother you. Life happens. Get over it. You're not calling your friends up to tell them about your bad day. That's just giving energy to it. And we're not doing that. What else was last week? You can change your own mind. Remember, if you're in a good mood or you're in a bad mood, you pick the mood. If you're mad, if you're glad, you picked that mood. You, so, those are two things that we learned last week. This week, I'm going to talk on... I don't even know what I'm going to talk on. Yes, I do. The last three months have been my best months ever. And I know the next three months and the rest of the year is going to be your best months thus far. Now, because you're going places, because you're moving up, you're doing better, you need to have a rock-solid plan. Write down in such and such days, I like to work in 80 day increments. In 80 days, I want to do this, I want to do this, and I want to do this. I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to gain 10 pounds if that's your situation. I want to save this much money and write a plan out. Back at the beginning of the year, I'm, I found this old book that had been floating around my house and I decided I was going to make an 80 day goal. So I wrote. On day one, I wrote 80 days, 79 days. You can see it, 78 days, 77, 76, 75. And before the day ever showed up, before day 80, I had already wrote a few things that I wanted to do. And then I just added to it as time went on. I ended up getting through the whole book, um, changing my life. Changed my life. And I, I am not lying. And I've already went through that 80 days. And I started a new 80 days. And I'm on day 63. The power of waking up in the morning and seeing what you need to do. Seeing your goals come to life on a piece of paper. And I get aggravated when people say, oh, I know what I want. I don't need to write it down. And it's just the most simplest thing to write it down and look at it. The thing of it is, I didn't look at the same page every day for three months. My page changed a little bit because I got a little better every week. And so next week, my goals were a little higher. And the week after that, a little higher. And then by the time 80 days came around, I was so motivated and excited about my life, I couldn't contain myself. I would challenge you, I started calling this my launching pad, I would challenge you to get one. And for example, you could go to the last day, whatever the last day is, say day 80, or I count it down, so this would be day one, and write, saved $200, okay? You could go back a few days and say, saved $200. And thirty dollars. You can go back one week because if you get paid every week, saved X amount of dollars, and and make it smaller and smaller. And on day one, or like I say, I'm going backwards. On day eighty, you can write saved two dollars. You know, if you save two dollars a day for eighty days, that's 160 bucks. So if you want a 250 bucks, you know, you're saving like 4 bucks a day or that might come out to, you know, 30 bucks a week and you write that down. That could be one of the things that are on your launching pad. Filled it out. I filled it out to day 50. So I have 80, 50, 60 through 30 days 
are, are sort of filled out here and the reason why I do that is so I never have to get up and go what do I got to do today oh man there's just so much it's already done when I woke up this morning Monday wake up at 7 o'clock a.m. work out and drink a protein shake done done with workout by 8 o'clock eat breakfast take a break. I'm giving myself a break between 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm already done with the workout. I'm done with breakfast. I get to chill for a little bit, but that break, you know, I'll get on Facebook. I might make this video work for two hours uh, before lunch. Work on a Toastmaster speech. I don't have to, I mean, that, that can be a lot of information to try to write down and think of at 7 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's not even here yet. Look, everything's written down because my goal is similar throughout the day, throughout the week. It does grow some. So I don't go too far. You know, here's 59 days. This is at the this is like four or five days away. But between now and four or five days, I'm gonna see where I've grown and adjust my goal accordingly. By the time I get to 80 days, I'm like, boy, it's just been one little day at a time and it changed my life. So Stay positive. Keep reaching for that goal. Write it down. It's important. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to get there if you don't write it down. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to hit your goal if you don't write it down and focus on it every day. It's your life. Isn't this important? It is important. That's right. Remember, you pick your mood, so pick a good one. Jonathan Fontana here, signing out.